hello guys welcome to salesforce anytime channel have you ever faced a situation where you have developed few components in your dev org and you missed to move those to qa org or uh, you have been working on dev org for so long for for a last sprint or even for a last month and uh, you wanted to find out what are the different components you created in dev org and those are not present in qa org right so if, if that is a situation you faced often then uh, probably this is what uh, you should look for uh, how you can compare the two orgs and find out what are the different components right which were created in dev org and which are not present in uh, probably the QA org, right? So let's look at that, how you can do that. So I, I'm logged into uh, my developer edition org. So I'm just going to treat it as my dev org. So you might have your different uh, dev org, but this is my developer edition. And uh, I have few Apex classes in this, uh, which probably I have developed uh, over a long period of time. And uh, this is my second org, which I'm going to treat it as QA. And this has uh, probably just two classes, uh, right? So uh, let me log into Packmagix and show you how you can do this. So let me search for Packmagix. So here it is, right? And let me log into, since mine is developer edition, I'm going to have it logged into production uh, URL. So I'm treating this org as my developer org. So I am going to get logged into this. So once I'm logged in, uh, I need to go to the org comparator, which is the last option here, you can see, right? Oh, so once I go here, uh, I get to select uh, what is the source org I want to compare, right? So that is my default org, which I treated as dev org. But uh, now I want to have target org, which I'm not yet logged into, right? So how, how do I um, go to uh, target org and how do I log into this org, right? So here is the settings menu and you can go to the connections and I'm going to click on add connection so here i'm going to mention this org name as qa you can just give any name to your orgs and this is my production url since it's a developer edition org then i'm going to validate org so this time it is going to be this org i'm just treating this as qa although the name suggests dev but just for example i'm showing this so I need to allow access. Yep, so once I logged in, in the connections, you should see two orgs, right? One, one is the default org, which I have logged in, and one is the QA org. So now I can go back to the org comparator. And here I'm going to select my source org as default org, and my target org as QA. Yep, and then I, I get to select, uh, what are what is the type of component you want to compare right for example i want to compare the apex classes and i'm going to select apex class sorry let me so i'm selecting apex class and now i'm going to click on compare so once i do that uh, so i'm getting the results so you can see uh, what uh, org I was treating as developer org, I had developed a lot of classes, what was the last modified date, and what is the user who has uh, modified that last. So all that information I get, uh, so this is the, uh, th these are the components which are only present in the source org, so that, that is the way you can know what are the components which are missing in QA org, right, which are only present in the dev org. And if you scroll down a little bit, uh, you can see what are the components which are only present in the target org. Um, just in case if somebody has uh, developed few components directly in the QA org, then you're going to see those here. And uh, if there are components uh, which are present in both the orgs, source and target org, you're going to see it here. So let me show it with the other component type. Probably let's see uh, layout. 
so once I get select layout now I can compare again and it would show me what are the layouts present in my source org so these are the layouts present only in my source org which probably I've developed um, some time back and you can see these are the layouts present only in the target org and these are the layouts present in both the orgs so it would give you uh, what is the last modified date uh, in the source org and what is the last modified date in the target org and it would also show you who has modified it in the source org and who has modified it in the target org so although this does not show you the actual metadata comparison but uh, it would definitely give you a starting point from where you can uh, at least get the 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 components which are not present in each org and also you can do a comparison by last modified date if the component was modified and changed um, so it's not going to show you um, in this uh, area if you already have the same last modified date since uh, it's, it was refreshed from the uh, production right like the dev org or QA org but only if you are modifying it uh, then it would show you this so this would be useful information uh, if you have any feedback suggestions comments please um, do post into the YouTube comments area so that would be great feedback uh, for um, me to uh, incorporate so thank you very much for listening to this video I hope this is helpful thank you bye